Good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you are joining us from. We are here today with Mike Slodowski, the CEO and founder of Magnus Box. How is your day going today, Mike? Going great, Scott. How's yours doing? Mine is doing wonderful. Well, I understand you are running this sweet backup company. I keep hearing a lot of great things about it. Magnus Box. What, what can you tell me about Magnus Box? So we're going to take a trip down memory lane here for a moment. Hopefully I won't go too far back. Um, so picture this. I, I was an MST owner for many, many years, 14 years to be a fact. For a fact, it was uh, my MSD was called Control Delete Computer Repair here in Saginaw, Michigan. Ran it for a long time, but 2018, 2019, I was just I needed a different direction in life. I, I was wanting to get out. You know, clients were getting to me. And I'm sure, even talking to many of our MSPs today, I hear the same stories, and so I'm with you guys. <laughs> um, but you know, I pivoted and I started building my own backup platform and. The main reason was is that I wasn't happy with the ones that were out there. I used many of the big name ones out there, just wasn't having it for me. You know, there was just limitations, weird things, support was terrible. And so I branched off and started my own back. And you know, I decided that I was gonna be the carbonite of the world. I was gonna okay, got this <laughs> great thing going out tomorrow. We're gonna dominate this industry. Got 20 of my MST clients to sign up. I was on. Fire. I mean, I was like living, I was making money, doing great. And so I put it out to the world and then six months, couldn't even hear the crickets. There were no crickets. <laughs> there was just nothing. So I, I was talking to a good friend of mine later that year, 2018, somewhere around 2019. And, you know, I was ready to shut it down. And he said, you know what, Mike, you got something great going here. Let's, let's sell this to partners or MSP. It's channel only. He goes, I think you're onto something. And that like, over Thanksgiving, it was like a week. I ripped everything I spent six months building. And I was like, you know what? We need to shift from a consumer to an MSP-centric um, service or a business-to-business. -business. Okay. And right, on, right off the bat, two people, two MSPs did a demo side-by-side -side with me and uh, signed up that day. And that was what started it. It just sparked this fire. And I mean, we grown from two MSPs. We're up to currently 230 MSPs. We've got 3,600 devices on our platform. We just crossed wow. over the two and a quarter petabytes of wow. storage being held on our platform. We've got partners all the way in seven different countries. I mean, I can't tell you the number in Australia, New Zealand, Europe, you know, they're catching up to the ones that we have in the U.S. And it's just been such a blessing. Um, grew from just my team, just as myself in the beginning. And now I've got four employees, including myself. I got two development Sweet. staff, and I just hired on our first uh, marketing and graphic design specialist who's been doing an amazing job with all of our graphics lately because that's not my skill set. I, I specialize elsewhere. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Well, what kind of growing pains? You know, you said you started this in 2018, correct? Yep. So what kind of growing pains have you undergone in building out Magnus Box, you know, an MSP centric backup solution? No, it's this, this. There's so many growing pains that we've hit. And one <laughs> of them is always bandwidth. You never realize how much bandwidth you use until you're starting a backup service and finding oh. data centers that have unlimited bandwidth or high cap on their bandwidth is nice. You know, I, my team, my development team, they're great at coding and programming. They're so smart. Like they run circles around me. I, I scratch the surface of it, but sure. I mean, looking back to day one, I mean, I was working a full-time job and I would come home and I would, I would, uh, I would um, set up the demos. It would take 15 minutes for me to set up a, a trial account for each person manually. We were counting licenses manually for billing, doing the billing manually. Then oh, I hired no. out my first developer and I was like, Hey, this is your job now. You do monthly billing. <laughs> and a week or two later, we had a we had a, a first uh, the concept for our automated billing, and it was all automated, and we didn't have to do it anymore. That's awesome. So that saved you a lot of time. It did, and it's just one of those growing pains. I mean, we've had numerous, such as data storage. You know, we're not we're not backed by any investors or any capital. We don't have any capital funding. It's all bootstrap. This whole company is. 
That's awesome. I, I love I love a good story like that too. You know, somebody who just puts their, uh, you know, you're you're motivated and you you see you see potential in the product. You you got your heart and soul in it, and you just give it all you've got, and you build it with your blood, sweat, and tears. That's that 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 to me is like the American dream. So, congrats on that. Very good, very good. Um, so, what separates what what makes what separates Magnus Box from the other backup solutions? So, yep, so we're powered by Comet, but what makes us stand out from the rest is our level of support and um, and just our quality of service and. The main differentiating factor is that it's our own infrastructure in the back end that we're maintaining. So we're reaching out to data centers. We're putting clusters together. Um, we actually built our own, uh, our first storage cluster that we own ourselves here in Saginaw in the data center. And it was a proof of concept cluster that we were able to cut our cost of storage in half. Oh, wow. And, and a lot of work goes into negotiating those contracts and making sure that we're HIPAA compliant and GDPR compliant. But I definitely feel that our support is what makes us stand out the most. Well, I have I have heard from other MSPs about your support as well. So, and you know, one of the things I think that helps is that you understand where the MSPs are coming from because you were an MSP. Exactly. And that's what it comes down to is I try to treat our MSP partners and we call our clients partners because they have a huge influence being only having 230 of them here on our platform. We have a public Facebook group where we will actually if we have an idea, we'll put it out to the partners. Like, hey, what do you think about this idea? Are we crazy? Are we going the right direction? Mm -hmm. It kind of keeps us in check and keeps us, as a good friend of mine said to me when we started, it's keeping us in our own lane and doing our own thing. That's Not right. trying to copy what everyone else is doing. And that's just been a huge factor for us is that we just stay in our own lane and they help drive our development. So... You mentioned that you wanted Magnus Box to be the carbonite of backups, to be the next carbonite. So what is it about Magnus Box? Do you do file level? Can Magnus Box do everything carbonite can do and more? So as far as carbonite goes, I feel like we can do things a little bit better. Um, so okay. we have all the features and functions available that Comet has. So some of those base features that we have are file and folder, disk image, which is our bare metal. That's where you can have your oh crap scenario where a server caught on fire. We can boot up to different hardware. <clears throat> um, Office 365 was just launched this last quarter. Um, we also do an, uh, a number of other things such as Hyper-V, um, SQL, MySQL, um, Posted Exchange. So there's a number of things that are added as well. Are you able to take those images, those full uh, metal images, and restore them in the cloud? Do like a cloud restore, or is it always going to be local? So it, yes and no is the answer to that. What I like to give, so basically you can restore the image because it is encrypted. Whenever we okay. do a backup, all the data is natively encrypted. We don't give anyone an option. It's got to be encrypted. But you can then take that image, and then you can either put it on a new hard drive of the exact size. You can. You can then take that image, upload it to any of the major cloud providers, such as AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, and you can spin up a virtual machine there. And we have a very in-depth guide on our YouTube channel. But you can also do something simple, like boot up a virtual box image, just, you know, some free virtual box, just get it open and get your client back up and running. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> so your wife helps you in this? Is your wife a part of Magnus Box as well? She is. So she helps me with more of the ethical decisions regarding like staffing um, and the HR side of things, as well as when there's a situation that comes up that um, I struggle with. Because, you know, I am human. There's things that I struggle with ethically, things that have happened. You know, we've had to let people go that were part paying clients because um, they were abusing my team. And there's those situations where it's just sometimes it's nice to have someone to talk to and and that's definitely where she, where she excels, at, especially finding employees. I mean, she hired most of our team. That's great. That's great. If 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 mama's not happy, nobody's happy. That's what I say when it comes to my wife. So I couldn't <laughs> do it without her. What do you like better, running the MSP or running Magnus Box? Magnus Box is definitely more fun. The 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 the, the freedom of being able to work from anywhere. So I can you know there's times where I'm in the data center working, or I'm on vacation. You know, I took a lot more vacations last year because it's. My office is literally my Verizon hotspot and my laptop and a good, there you go. a good VPN connection to our data centers, you know. Um, it's, I definitely miss things about the MSP side of things, but I'm definitely way happier being a vendor. And the nice thing about us is 
we have no plans of launching our own RMM platform, VoIP platform. We are strictly going to stay in our lane. We're not going to branch outside of backup. That's awesome. So you've got your, your focus and you're, you're focused on that, that one thing and you've got your momentum going for you. So that's great. Um, well, are we going to take a look at uh, Magnus Box behind the scenes or uh, do a demo here? We are living on the edge today. My computer just updated to Windows 11 before this demo or before this uh, webinar. I gotcha. So, but so there's two pieces to the Magnus Box platform. There's the web portal, which this is the web portal that we host for you. So Magnus Box is a turnkey backup solution. Um, you can go to Comet and work with them and spin up your own hardware. But where we differentiate is that. It's our support team and we're maintaining this infrastructure for you. Um, my specialty now is Linux administration. I live in a terminal UI all day long. So, so from within here, this is one of the dedicated servers that we're hosting in a data center for our partners. Every one of them that's signed up with Magnus Box has their own dedicated portal that they can log into that looks like this to manage their endpoints. Um, okay. Now, we don't believe in licenses. I mean, we do. But we don't believe in you having to contact us at two in the morning when you're just trying to finish up a client's install and saying, hey, I ran out of backup licenses, you know, we're closed. You can add as many devices as you want. Our billing is very simple and straightforward. Um, it's just at the end of the month, you're paying for your usage. And that's all we do. <clears throat> that's clean. Yeah. And I mean, that's one of the things that I took from a lot of the vendors. You know, we lock our partners into their pricing. So if they sign up, their pricing is going to stay that way. It's not going to raise because we saw what happened with some of the competitors out there raised 4%, 5%. We saw the, the fires happening and we saw the people bailing out. So we tried to take a common sense approach. We don't have any, there's no limits. There's no monthly lock-in or yearly contracts. It's just month to month. If you're happy, you are. If not, we part ways, we chat in the forums. We have a good time. Just common sense approach to billing and simple. <laughs> Well, I can tell you, I, on the dashboard there, your GUI is is very nice because I, I I'm I'm a graph kind of person. I love pie charts and graphs, and I'm a visual guy, so I, I, I like it. I could just see you sitting here clicking this all day, Scott. Uh, I might. <laughs> That's actually cool. It is, and everything's interactive from within here. So the people at Comet did an amazing job putting the dashboard together. Um, this is the exact same interface that you'd see over there. Um, okay. So within here, you get a you get a high level overview of what's going on. So in the last 24 hours, I got a few backups that missed. I got one that aired out that we probably should identify. And we got 14 successful. Now that's amazing. Those are good stats. You know, the one's bad and we should probably fix that. Okay. Um, but the nice thing is that we have a nice 10 day overview on this heat map here on this uh, uh, temperature graph. that will show us the 10 days uh, backup history. So you can see here, there's a lot of green. Green is good. Okay. Um, gray means the backups were missed. Yellow means there was a warning. Warnings are just, hey, we got your data, but something's not quite right. Red is the, oh, crap, you need to fix this now. Your data is not backed up. So it follows traditional colors. Yeah, we don't go too crazy on them. And then I don't have any running at the moment, but uh, there you would also see if there was a backup running. So what's nice is that you can actually drill down and do everything from the screen. You can jump into the user account by just clicking on the username. You can drill into the device and actually trigger manual backups, restores, update the software. Heck, you can even uninstall it if your client leaves you and you'll uninstall it remotely. Nice. And then you can also modify the backup job here as well. So you can see here, I have a file and folder backup and there's an Office 365. I can actually click on the file and folder and I can modify that job all from one screen. And what's really cool is that this is a live connection to the endpoint. The moment I make an update to a job here, it is automatically updating the endpoint as well. That's awesome. One thing I'm noticing, Mike, is it is super, super uh, quick. I mean, it's very responsive. There's no lag time. Oh, yeah. And what I love to show people, and I'm, I'm jumping around here today because this isn't my traditional demo, but what I love to show people is this little feature here. I like to do a little side-by-side. -side. Okay. So right here is the endpoint application. You'll see I got these two backup jobs here. Okay. But let, let's say I want to add another one. I could just copy 
first going to copy and paste for simplicity, but the moment I hit this, it's automatically updated and it's already on the end. One. Wow. And if you, so go you just clone here, the backup to another workstation. Yeah. And that's all you can do. You can set up one device as long as it's not, you know, too specific for the backup job. Okay. Let's say you just had 15 devices that were doing the C drive backup. You just copy and paste them. You don't have to go in there and set up every single one of these individually. Okay. So that's one of my favorite features to show is at the moment you delete something or change something, like I'm going to delete that backup job here. It's gone. So how easy is it to drill down and find out what that error was? So it's not too difficult. This one here was going to might be throwing me off because I was testing Office 365 for our billing because it just came out this month. Pretty easy. So like from here, from the homepage, you can see the error. You can just click on it. It will tell you the device. Uh, the account device, what the back, what the protected item was, or the backup job. I'm going to move our faces to the other side of the screen, and then yeah, you just click on this report button, and you can see in here that tells you down here what time the job kicked off and what the error was, and it highlights it red, and it just says that the backup job did not include any files. So, I was testing the Office 365. I didn't select anything to be backed up, and so wow. it just showed that there was nothing in there, and it's an easy fix. I mean. If I wanted to fix this here, all I'd have to do is just go to my account. Here's the protected item that was not working properly. Go in there. And this one might be a little bit different because it's Office 365, but I said once it'll authorize me or authenticate me, I just went in here and I just selected the, there was nothing selected. So I went in here earlier and selected that. And it'll work now going forward the next time. Okay. So Very cool. What's cool is the Office 365 backup. It's a per user backup. So okay. I only have, I don't, I'm, not a, I'm not an Office 365 user myself. I'm a G Suite, our whole team is. But uh, so I have one just for myself personally, but you can back up things such as SharePoint, Teams files, um, OneDrive for business, not the OneDrive for personal. It's a different backup level. But you can do a lot okay. of things with the Office 365. Good deal. Awesome. Well, what else? Uh, so you, you do the file level. You do. Um, how, can you show us the file level, how easy that is to, to back up and restore? Absolutely. So creating one's pretty simple. I'm just going to go through a new one here. And we're going to okay. say that I'm creating a brand new one. My backups get messed up the most than any more than anyone else because I'm always messing with them. <laughs> so it's pretty easy. You just, add, you just add a protected item. Okay. And I have one device on this account. So you can have multiple devices per backup account. So I just have my one laptop that I'm on here. So I just add a protected item, click on the laptop, give it a friendly name, tell it and what And those are of all the types of backup. So my SQL, Microsoft SQL Server, Hyper-V, Exchange, Office 365, you could do a full disk image bare metal disk image, files and folders. Pro what is program output? So there's certain programs that can initiate a backup okay. um, through command line. So this here kind of in integrates into other third-party applications. We don't see this one used at all very often. We probably have like okay. one partner that uses it. Um, there's lots of different use case scenarios that are supported though. What, what about the ones below it, the si server system state? What are, what are those? So the, the server system state integrates right into the Microsoft's built-in, the, the Windows um, system state backup. So all it's doing is triggering that system state um, snapshot there within the system, Windows utilities. Okay. And it's just offloading and encrypting that data to a third-party location, such as our cloud storage vault, one of our data centers that we control or to a local onsite. So you can do both cloud and local backups under the same backup account. Oh, wow, very cool. So what else can you tell us? What, what's, what's one thing that your partners, current MSP partners tell you about Magnus Box that you're doing right? What, what, what's your success story? So we have, well, we have quite a few of those. We have both success and horror stories. We'll try to cover the positive today. <laughs> Um, so we I mean we've had incidents happen where our support hours are nine to nine Monday through Friday Eastern time. Like I said, all of us are in Michigan. There's times where we will respond outside of those hours if it's an emergency. So the nice thing about us hosting the infrastructure is we have access, admin access to all of the MSPs backup servers like this one here. And if something goes south, we can go in here and fix it for 
our partners. That's the added value that we add. Um, so we actually had a horror story where a partner's uh, client server went down. It was the Super Bowl, Super Bowl Sunday, eight o'clock. Oh no! And you know, I'm I'm at a Super Bowl party watching the game, and you know, we got this emergency ticket. And one of my texts, I tagged him, and I was like, "Hey, are you busy tonight?" And it was you know Sunday, eight o'clock. We're closed, and 15 minute phone call had the partner's uh, client back up and running uh, with a disc image backup, and they were all set and good to go. And that's, that's the thing that the story is that we love to hear. Well, were they able to catch the game still? Did they miss any of the game? Well, I hope that, well, that, per, that employee wasn't watching the game. So oh, okay, <laughs> that's why it went to him first. Cause I knew he wasn't watching it, but uh, gotcha. you know, it's, it's little things like that. You know, we can, sometimes I'll, we respond outside of those hours. And sometimes it's just a simple, Hey, I got your ticket. We're, we're, we're heading off for the night. Can we look at this in the morning? And, you know, nine times out of 10, it's just reaching out and just being there. That's a lot of what our business is, just to be there. And, you know, what people love is if they do get an error log, because if a backup fails, you have the chance, choice to get email alerts. I can't tell you the number of tickets we get a day where someone will just hit forward on their email and send us a, uh, the backup report saying failed. And they'll just say, hey, can you fix this? I don't have time. Our team goes in, finds out what's wrong. We either fix it or work with you to fix it. And it's taken care of and you can keep on making money. Well, you said something that I, 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 I'm thinking about that you have the Facebook group, not IT Business Service Group, but your Facebook group for Magnus Box Partners. So if a partner had an issue outside of normal support hours, they could always go there and another Magnus Box MSP customer could actually help them and say, oh, yeah, you just go here, here, and here. I'm, I'm thinking that's a great resource. Yeah, and that's one of the things. You know, I was hesitant to launch a partner group because I was so worried it was just going to turn into a support a support forum or a bashing session. Sometimes you, that, that thing happens on these Facebook groups. Sure. But, um, you know, it's turned out to be a great thing. You know, like someone had a question about action one as an RMM and people jump in, our partners will jump in, I'll jump in. And sometimes I'll get in there like 30 minutes later and some partners already taken care of it and helped out the other partner. It's such an amazing community when That's as awesome. techs, we can support each other like that. And sometimes we uh, post a little shenanigans in there too. So, Good um, deal. <laughs> Well, no, I, I think that, that that's awesome, and that, that adds extra value to your partners. So they know that, you know, because nobody, nobody expects you to have 24-7 support hours. But at the same time, because you got to have a life, but at, at the same time, you're giving them an, an alternative place to find answers. So that's, that's awesome. In closing with you, Mike, uh, how, if an if a MSP is interested in signing up for Comet, I mean, not Comet Backup, for Magnus Box uh, via Comet Backup, what, what is the best way for them to get in touch and reach out to get signed up and get started today with Magnus Box? Definitely. So either way, you can come to us. You can go to Comet. We, we, send, we send partners to, eat, to each other all the time. I can't tell you the number of times sure. we, we share clients. <laughs> but uh, if you want to reach out to me or my team, it's easy enough. It's uh, support at magnusbox.com. Okay. Um, and I'm just scrolling to the bottom of our website here. Um, we actually have our phone, a phone number. This is something rare you don't see anymore these days. Uh -huh. the phone number on our website. This will go straight to my team's phones. You know, if we don't answer, um, just leave a message. But yeah, you can contact us through our website, con uh, contact us on Facebook. And if you want to sign up for a trial, give it a seven day, uh, give it a seven day trial. You just go to our website. And uh, just become a partner. It's a free trial. There's no credit card information exchanged. Okay. And the added bonus is I hate marketing. And I shouldn't say that because we just hired a marketing person. I hate cold call marketing. And so our team is never going to cold call, mass email. I won't let them and we won't do it. It's been our founding principle from day one that we're not going to cold call you every single day and harass you. That's awesome. Well, Mike, thank you so much for taking time out of your day today and have this chat with me and tell us a little bit about Magnus Box. That's awesome. So uh, again, if anybody is interested in signing up for Magnus Box, just go to magnusbox.com forward slash become dash a dash partner. 
and uh, Mike will set it up. Or uh, you have an email address, support at magnusbox.com as well. Yep, it goes right to our team's uh, ticketing system, and one of us will respond pretty quickly. All tickets of ours have to be responded to within the same day. That's awesome. Well, Mike, anything else you want to share with the community? Nope. You know, just stay healthy. Uh, make sure you take, guys take time for yourself and enjoy 2022 and get some vacation, guys. You guys are workaholics. <laughs> That's the best advice. Get some vacation. Got to take care of yourself and your own mental health. Mike, so, let's take a day off. <laughs> that's it. Well, we'll do it. If Mike says it, we got to do it. Mm -hmm.